In 46 days, join the general strike against the duopoly. The American Union needs your help on a moral crusade to address the internet-connected evils that Martin Luther King identified as poverty, racism, and militarism. Part of the problem is that, as Americans, we have strayed away from the duties that the framers laid out for us in the Constitution. To establish justice is our first duty, and we are failing when we incarcerate more people than any other country on the planet. And we know that. People recognize that. 95% of Americans support criminal justice reform, including 69% who say minor changes aren't enough. So let's think big. The blueprint for a better America will end poverty, end mass incarceration, and end the endless wars, and it includes major criminal justice reform. Now, I understand that some members of Congress are afraid to address these problems. There's maybe a hint of cowardice, afraid of being looked at as soft on crime. But I'm not here to point fingers. I'm here to offer reasons why they should support this. First, it's part of a larger legislative package. So every member of Congress has plausible deniability. They can say, oh, I didn't like that part, but I had to vote for the whole thing. Expediency required it. Or there's a lot of popular reforms in the blueprint. There is a national police misconduct registry. There's restrictions on no-knock warrants, eliminating mandatory minimums, training police on de-escalation, reforming qualified immunity, banning chokeholds, ending civil asset forfeiture. These are popular things that can appeal to the vanity of those congressmen. Two months before he was assassinated while trying to organize a union, Martin Luther King concluded a speech with this observation. He said, on some positions, cowardice asked the question, is it safe? Expediency asks the question, is it politic? Vanity asks the question, is it popular? But conscience asks the question, is it right? And there comes a time when one must take a position that is neither safe, nor politic, nor popular, but he must take it because conscience tells him it is right. And so I'm appealing to the conscience of all good people in this country, including the members of Congress. We can end poverty, end mass incarceration, and end the endless wars. We have the ability, and together we can do the right thing. Join the general strike in 46 days. Together we rise.